Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, March 16th. It's day 58 of Be Formed. Day 15 of Lent, our spiritual spring training. Uh, I want to remind you tonight, Wednesday night is the third and last night of the mission. I'm going to be talking about practical ways that we find healing. And you can find the link for the mission, the live stream link on my written blog, frburke23.wordpress.com. Also, just a reminder, Thursday night, uh, I know it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, but Thursday night we have a live large group session at 7 p.m. I'm going to be talking about uh, the body postures during the Mass, and that'll also be recorded for you if you'd like to watch it later. Today, what we're going to talk about is the, the sacrifice bunt. So, um, as we progress in our spiritual spring training, Jesus is wanting to teach us what sacrificial love looks like. And so in baseball, we talked about earlier that the sacrifice bunt is the batter is giving up his at bat to move the runners around. And spiritually, of course, uh, sacrificial love is giving up our desires, eventually, possibly even our lives, so that others can move closer to Christ. And so let's keep that in mind as we look at the, the readings today. The first reading from the prophet Jeremiah. So Jeremiah was called as a young man, we think maybe a young teenager, to be a prophet. And he didn't want to do it. You know, he says, you know, who am I? And God says, I'll give you the words. And so now Jeremiah follows God's will. And the people are plotting against him. They're saying, let us destroy him. And he's crying out. He said, heed me, O Lord. Listen to what my adversaries say. They dig a pit to take my life. So uh, much like Jesus who came to do the Father's will, um, there were difficult times. There were sacrifices. But out of love for God and doing the will of God, uh, Jeremiah continued on. And Jesus, of course, did as well. And it's our call in the spiritual life that not to do our will, but to do the will of God and to sacrifice. And that may sound like being a Christian is a terrible thing, but it's not. I can tell you, you know, in the little ways that I'm able to sacrifice for God, I receive so much more in return. Um, let's look at the gospel today from Matthew chapter 20. So Jesus tells his followers, I'm going to be going, uh, I'm going to, be going to Jerusalem. And he says, the Son of Man is going to be handed over. They're going to condemn him to death. So he'll be scourged and crucified, and he'll be raised on the third day. And they didn't get it. They're thinking, who is the Son of Man, and, and what are you talking about? Uh, so they didn't, they didn't grasp the meaning of Jesus going to Jerusalem to die, and that he will rise from the dead, and what it means to sacrifice. And it was obvious some people didn't get it because... The mother of James and John comes to Jesus and, he sa and she says this. Well, it says she did him homage. So it means, you know, she, she respected Jesus. Um, but she says, you know, command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in the kingdom. So remember Bishop Barron always saying, he said, when, when we tell Jesus what to do, we're in a bad spiritual place. So she's telling Jesus to place her sons at these places of power. Remember, four substitutes for God, honor, power, pleasure, and wealth. Uh, sacrificial love is hard, and we'd rather get things for ourselves rather than to serve others and to serve God. And Jesus says, that's not mine to give. Can they drink from this chalice? And like, well, sure, but this chalice is representative of, of suffering uh, for the Father's will. And he says, they will drink from this chalice. And we know St. James, died a martyr's death, and St. John died of old age. And so these disciples, they had a conversion. Once they saw Jesus dead and alive, they were willing to give their lives for Christ. St. John was the only one of the apostles that didn't die a martyr's death. And so Jesus took it as a teaching opportunity. He said, uh, he became indignant. He said, or the, the other disciples became indignant. And he said, there's rulers of the Gentiles, they lord it over us. It shall not be that way with you. If you want to be great in my kingdom, if you want to be great on my team, you'll become the servant. If you want to be first on my team, you'll be the slave. So I want to encourage us to seek places to serve. When you notice that your ego is crying out for attention, 
Look for an opportunity to humble yourself. Look for the lowest place. Look to do things that nobody else will see. And he says, the Son of Man came to serve uh, and not, not, to, not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. So Jesus not only teaches us, but he shows us the way. And so let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son Jesus, for his words and example of what sacrificial love looks like. Help us to seek opportunities to, to lay down our lives for others, to lay down our will and to follow your will, even when it leads to places that, uh, that are difficult. We trust in you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share with at least one person today. And God bless you.